Okay. So this is a cat. This is a um, inferior or superior vena cava. This is a brachiocephalic, just from here to here. Um, and then this is the uh, um, external jugular. And then this is the axillary. But before the axillary is the subclavian, which is right from here to here. And then um, this is the and then brachiocephalic artery, and it branches off into the common, right common carotid artery, and then the right subclavian artery, which can be seen right here, just red. And then on the left, it's the um, left common carotid, and then branching off closer to the heart is the left um, subclavian artery. And then over to the side is the azygous artery, or vein, right? A zygous vein, which is right there, that one. Uh, I'm the one that's showing. And then if we start from the bottom, this is the inferior vena cava. And then um, so let's follow this one. Um, attached to the inferior vena cava is the inferior um, um mesenteric vein and artery, which is right here, and it goes up the colon, which is right here. So inferior mesenteric artery and vein go up. And then this is the superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein in yellow. So artery, vein, um, and then if you follow the superior mesenteric vein up, you'll see the hepatic portal vein, which is, is really small. And then this is the gonadal artery from here to here. And then it splits up into the um, ex external or external celiac trunk. And then internal is behind. Ex internal iliac trunk is they're both common, by the way. So external iliac trunk and then internal would be going down there and same with the, the and it goes for both veins and arteries. And it goes to the femoral and it goes to the femoral, like this femoral vein and then the popliteal vein and artery.